Hi everybody, Tammy here. Welcome to my channel. Quick note, I had planned to show my smiling face on this video, but recently I took a little tumble at home. I'm fine, generally speaking, but I'm still healing, and especially my face, which is basically what I landed on. So, okay, back to the video. This is the next CCC collaboration challenge competition I'm doing with Dolls Rescued. We're turning a Blythe doll and a 16 inch doll into hippie chicks for our chosen year of 1960. If you search for hashtag 1960 hippie doll, you'll be able to see all the other creators who joined in. Keep in mind the competition part of the CCC is only between myself and Dolls Rescue. As usual with our CCCs, I'm asking you to watch this video all the way to the end and then in the comments rank my efforts to turn these dolls into 1960 hippie chicks between 1 and 10 with 10 being the highest. Once you have watched and ranked my video, follow the link I have in the description to Dolls Rescue and do the same for her. Watch her video to the end and then rank it in her comments. Now let me tell you about the first doll I transformed. So here's my first of the group of hippie chicks that I made. And I'm going to actually put in, right about here, I'm going to put in a video that's about a minute long to show you the inside of her head because this is a little bit of a different fakie Blythe doll than I have ever worked with before. And I thought you might find this interesting because the, the inside of her head is different. Well, I stopped here because I thought this was interesting. So I th this doll was different than some of the other uh, Blythe dolls I've seen before. And, uh, you know, but it was mostly because of her body. She's got this, um, I think it's like an Obitsu style body. So I noticed that. But then when I took her apart, check out that this was on the top of her uh, neck. And I believe this is an attachment I've seen used before to help uh, with the doll's head tilting. But then the T-bar, this is a regular T-bar. This is the T-bar that I found inside um, of, that goes right, it goes right there. So um, quite different looking. <laughs> and then her head has this plate thing that uh, I've never seen that before. Usually it's just, there's nothing here, you know? Um, and so, yeah, so it's put together a little bit differently than typical Blythe dolls that I have taken apart in the past. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm going to be okay, but I just thought I'd show you guys because I got a surprise when I opened her up. So she ended up being a little bit problematic for me, and as it happens, I was not able to get her eye mechanism out, which meant I was not able to seal her face or do any sort of real face-up. But I was still able to give her um, sleepy eyes, and here are her charms. Her name is Daisy. Um, I picked her because she had this beautiful dark hair, and I thought the Daisy um, buttons that I got would look really, really cute in with her hair. Um, and I have them on her pull charms. Her little pull rings too here um, with beads and um, there's some leaf beads and glass beads and then I end them with the daisy uh, the daisy buttons and so then I also made some braids in her hair just a few in the front and attached the uh, daisy buttons to that um, like I said she does have sleepy eyes so she has yellow I actually ended up having to tape her eyes closed in the back <laughs> and I opened up her head so that I could paint her eyelids yellow. And I really like that on her. I basically, I took her apart, painted her eyelids, gave her sleepy eyes, and added uh, the beads and charms to these pull rings. Um, this, I actually hear this colored uh, thread is um, hemp. I made some little earrings. And I made this little necklace with a flower on it. And of course, added this little, uh, this little strand of hippie beads for her. And this dress, I've made this dress a number of times on my channel. It's one of those cute little peasant dresses from Dolly, the Dolly Delica pattern. Um, and I thought this just looked really cute with the, her coloring. So she's quite fair skinned and has flowers in her hair. So yes, she is the first doll that I did. And because I was not able to do as much customizing on her as I had planned on doing, I decided to do another Blythe doll. So she's the first one. I'm really happy with her. Like I said, I was limited on what I could do as far as her face up goes, but considering the problems I had um, cracking her head open and, and trying to get her eyes out, um, I think she still turned out super cute. So let's look at the next dolly that I did. All right, so here we go. This chick, I actually did purchase her from AliExpress with the purpose of using her as a hippie chick. Um, but then I found the, the other doll was a 
given to me by a viewer so I, I wanted to use her too so I, you know I just did two and this doll I was able to open up her face and um, her face plate and take out her eye eye mechanism here I have painted her eyelids and I added glitter um, to them and let's see open up her eyes I did not change out her eye uh, chips at all um, let's see what else oh I you know painted her I gave her pink eyeshadow she's a, she's kind of a pinky purpley flower type, type chick um, I made these little earrings she's got a yoga hippie vibe on her the hair um, I braided and then hand sewed actually literally sewed these um, silk type flowers in her hair she's got her little peace sign hand on um, and so yeah so I made what I'm calling jeans these are some um, I don't really have any denim and my machine will not work with denim but I had you know typically I try to use fabric that I have on hand and I had some of this blue fabric and I was like you know what I could turn these into a little pair of jeans so uh, I used a pair a, a pattern that I had for Blythe pants and I increased it so I, they would flare out like little bell bottoms and I had them I kept them unfinished you know just like I kept the top unfinished um, this top is also uh, something that I altered from a dress pattern. I kind of changed it, um, you know, used the basic pattern, then altered it, left this unfinished. So she's got kind of this little bohemian look to her. And let's take a look at her pull cords. So her pull cords on one, it has the, um, the hand with the eye. And then on this one, the little charm says namaste. So she has some glass lampwork beads with some silver, and these are ceramic beads. So, um, so yeah, she's got kind of a pinky, purpley, blue, turquoisey vibe to her. I love how she turned out. I'm super happy with her. Um, everything works on her. Everything works on her. The IMEX all work, no problem. When I put it back, that's that's the big trick. It's one thing taking them apart, but putting them back together again can be another story. So, and um, I'm calling her Moonbeam because she's so fair skinned. <laughs> so I'm calling uh, the other one's Daisy, and this is Moonbeam. So there you go. I have two little Blythe dollies. All right. So the other one we we agreed to do also a 16 inch doll. So let me bring her on. So this is one of my Elowen Wild dolls, and I am super happy also with how she turned out. Um, so this is a little hemp um, headband that is uh, twisted, and then I just tied it in the back of her head. Um, again, I have some little hippie style beads. Now her top is something I crocheted, and I just kind of made it up. All right, so she's uh, it's sort of like a bathing suit style top. Um, it ties. There you go. It ties at the top and in the back. And then I took extra yarn and I made fringe and I frayed it all so it's all frayed. This is some batik fabric. Again, I had this in my stash already. Even though the print's a tad big, I thought it worked very well for this. And this has actually got, um, it's got a band here at the top and three sections um, that I did some gathering up here. And then I did that technique where you wet it and then you scrunch it and then you leave it to dry so it has this kind of like lines in it um, so yeah so she turned out also <laughs> super cute um, oh and I made this little bracelet for her it's I've had these beads for a while I don't, there you go they look kind of like trade beads but they're really tiny so I thought ah perfect I can make her a cool looking bracelet so um, so yeah that's my 16 inch hippie chick all right, everybody, here they are, all three dolls together. I love how this turned out. I'm very proud of the work that I did, but it's now up to you. Make sure that you spend a little time looking at the photos that I'm going to put at the end of this video so you can see some details. And then, as usual, rank down in the comments below. Rank it between 1 and 10, 10 being the highest. <laughs> Subliminal message. 
I always have to do that. And then once you've done that, make sure you head over to Dolls Rescue. I have an at sign Dolls Rescue down below that you can just click on and get directly over to her channel so you don't have to do any searching. And then do the same thing. Watch her video to the end and rank it in her comments. Once we give everybody enough time to watch and rank our videos, we will calculate the winner and announce it in a separate video on both our channels. Typically what we do is one of us announces the winner and the other person announces the next challenge. So make sure you have subscribed to both our channels so you can find out not only who won, but what the next CCC is going to be between Dolls Rescue and Peacecraft Dolls. All right, enjoy the pictures and a little bit of mood music. And as usual, I always appreciate a thumbs up. Have a wonderful Dolly Day. Bye-bye.